What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Sika Gear Review. Today, another worthy opponent on the list. We're covering it. It's everybody's go-to to throw in the bag for the bad weather. Here at Murray Island Beach, and there's no sign of the storm. No other than the Delta wading jacket. This was built. This uh, this piece of equipment. This piece of clothing was carefully built. Okay, I say it every episode, I'm gonna to continue to say it every episode, but as complex as Sikkim makes their stuff, they keep it simple, okay? So, of course, we're working with our two colors today. We've got our Waterfowl Marsh and our Timber, okay? Uh, now, if you're coming from the Dakota Vest video, I'm gonna throw this in the beginning. When I was referring to those lanyard straps, this one has, this one's brand new. I haven't, I haven't used this one yet. Loops up and back down, okay? You can take them off very easy. It comes on both sides. All right, so that's out of the way. So we're working with both colors today. I'm always using the timber, so we're gonna work on the marsh today since I got it right here. This I was using this morning for running the pups. We had some rain coming down and the pup was just getting me soaked. So naturally, we're this out there, all right? Let's start from the top and work our way down. But before we do, let's read it right after the site. So, Right from Sika's website on the Delta Wading Jacket page, it is built for seasonal extremes of waterfowl hunting. The Delta water Wading Jacket is made from a waterproof, breathable, and durable three layer Gore Tex Pro fabric. Uh, a durable water repellent finish provides even more protection from moisture and allows for quick drying. Additional smart features include water sealing wrist cuffs and integrated call keeper system, which is exactly what we just saw a couple seconds ago, okay? So, start from the bottom, work our way down, all right? Now, this entire thing here has that three-layer Gore-Tex, uh, the pro fabric. This is the actual, like, man, this is the top of the top. It's, it's not too noisy compared to other rain jackets. Let's put it that way, all right? Really awesome jacket. This is the one thing that, like, if you pull it out of your bag, you're like, I'm not getting wet. It's, uh, man, I've had this in all day, downpours. You're not getting wet, okay? And anyone who's figured this out, rain jackets, just because of how they're made, are kind of like a natural insulator. It just kind of keeps everything in. So if you're really cold, try it, okay? Um, I, I don't know if there's any science behind that. That's just something I always picked up in the Army um, to always downgrade um, before you put your rain jacket on. But let's get to it. So starting from the top, we've got our... Gore-Tex Pro hood, okay, that carries all the way down to a seamless collar, okay, on the back side. Now, the hood is adjustable, which is one of the features that Sika always offers, that they have a very athletic type uh, fit, but it's also one that doesn't have those bulky hoods that, A, it's a pain to wear, and especially wear a pack with, um, and B, it's just a pain to put up and cinch down and you can't move with it. That's the biggest thing. And Sika realized that and they said, okay, we're gonna change that. So what they did is they pretty much integrated this so that uh, it has a bungee, uh, uh, a bungee cord pretty much. You can kind of see it right there. All right, maybe about an inch and a half off of the actual hood tip, all right? And that loops all the way around. Reason for that is so that it's not on the tip bringing everything down. You still have a little bit of a shield, okay? especially if it's coming in your face. The whole idea behind it is it cinches down to your actual movement, okay? So if you have a bird coming over here, you gotta look. Old hoods would just kinda stay static and you'd be like, oh, oh I can't see. Now, with these kind of hoods, it's integrated into your actual movement. So you can look and this'll flex, okay? It's an awesome, awesome ability that I feel like a lot of people don't realize until they put it on. So, moving down, we uh, we continue over to our actual collar, which this is allowed to come off. It just bring, gives you a little bit more space with the collar if you're not wearing the hood, all right? Just two snap buttons on left and right of the collar, all right? Well, uh, we talk about the uh, that little added bonus that always, it's, it's kind of not necessary, but it's awesome if it is, uh, the little, the, what the fuck is it called? The added flap, uh, more so of a comfort thing, but the added flap for the actual zipper, especially in the cold elements, all right? We've got a 
large zipper this time. It's a lot heavier than, say, the one I'm wearing, okay? I've got a small, all right, you can hear that. This is a large and it is completely sealed all the way down the seam, so listen. A lot heavier, a lot heavier. Goes all the way up, okay? Nothing's getting through this. I've had a lot of jackets where this thing will just, after a, a long day of downpour, and especially in the military, it'll seep through the, the zippers actually. So lighter zippers like this especially, not the best during an all day downpour, but this is a larger, heavier grade zipper, okay? So another feature about this jacket that's awesome. All right, so we have our breast pockets up top, all right? They are completely sealed. You can see the actual outline of the seal. Uh, the inside is that felt material that we talked about on the collar. All jackets have, okay? They have that felt material. Going in, you just have that Gore-Tex Pro on the outside flap, and then you have the felt material on the inside, all right? Uh, lightweight zipper. Now, of course, and that's on each side. Of course, on the, each side as well, right behind that, you've got your hand warmer pockets, all right? Uh, the chest side is the pro material, okay? And then the uh, actual facing side out is the felt material, again, great for waders. Moving down, you've got your big old shell pockets, all right? This is something I'm, I'm happy they kept. I've seen a lot of brands that make the slanted ones, which aren't bad for comfort-wise. They're very nice to, to wear and just kind of stick your hands in, but a lot of people, myself included, if we don't have like a, a bandolier or something like that, something to put our shells on, um, this is where they go. I just chuck a big, you can either put a box in there, if you're like me, I just dunk the whole thing in and I'm fumbling for them. Um, but they can take a ton. What's nice about them is they've got a larger than usual flap right here, which you'd think, okay, it's not really a big deal, Zach. A lot of people have flaps, but when you've got big uh, waiter gloves on or you just have big gloves because it's cold out, you, you pretty much have no dexterity, all right? The ability to actually feel and, and use your fingers with those gloves on. So this has two types of closures, all right? Getting past the fact that it's a lot easier to grab. It's got um, one Velcro to Velcro, actual uh, look, loop, hook and loop fastener, all right, um, is the technical term. All right, opens right up, and you've got more pro material here, all the way through line, so that if you have like sharp objects, or you got like a, uh, a knife in there, um, it doesn't punch through, all right, as easily. But continue with the pockets, you guys can see, it's not going anywhere, why? You can see it barely, but right there and on the other side as well, you've got two magnets, okay? Really awesome feature. And again, they just think of everything with this stuff because, and I'm not even making that up, honestly. You go to reach for your shell, especially if you've got gloves on, okay? Remember that scenario. You go reach for your gloves, go get some ammo, and next thing you know, you're just coming up flat. It's not a huge deal. It is. But when you're trying to get that trophy bird and you're like, okay, I need this to go right. Little things count, okay? So moving all the way down, and that's on both sides, moving all the way down here, all right, to the actual base of the jacket. Uh, as per usual, we have our, our actual tension straps, all right, with our, our fasteners as well. Goes all the way around the uh, circumference of the actual base here. Uh, when zippered up and then you have actually down here is the second piece of the buckle or excuse me the zipper and everyone is kind of like wishy-washy about it i like it because when i'm either wearing uh let's say if i have a hand warmer on for whatever reason like a muff pack down there um or if, you know maybe i have a shell belt down there or something all right i like to use this because if i'm sitting down you can kind of just do that and that way it's not like riding up on you the whole time making those dumb flaps, all right? right. So um, that's why I like that part of the zipper, okay? Now, oh, and I forgot to mention, they do have the loops like we talked about in the beginning up here at the collar, all right? 
Before we go to the inside, all right, let's hit up the sleeves. Now, most jackets don't have this, all right, but this is, again, another little piece that they threw together. So pretty much all the way down to the base, you get up here for you guys, to the base of the, of either side hand warmer pocket, you've got more zippers. Now you're thinking, what's this at? This is the armpit. So this is the underside of the arm, okay? And this is kind of like their ventilation system. What they have it set up for is, it's got dual small zippers, all right? Of course, it's all oil line. And that goes down the sleeve, okay? You guys can see sleeve end, and then here's the actual hand warmer pocket and then our dual zippers. The idea here is it's on the underside. So if it's raining, but it's a hot day, like I said, you're in a, an oven at that point, all right? Whether you have layers on or not, your body heat's gonna stay in there. You gotta release it somehow. But if you release it with common jackets, you're gonna get soaked. So they thought of, let's use our body and the jacket itself as the umbrella. So I've got fully open, and this goes well, well past the, uh, the elbow, okay? Um, for larger guys, you know, it may just be right at the, uh, the tricep area there. But great vent, okay? You can take it either way, uh, down here or back up into the armpit, and you don't feel it, you know? There's no tension, there's no kind of sticking or poking. You don't feel it. Moving on to the actual uh, remainder of the sleeve here, you've got this tough fabric, okay? And I, I, again, it's one of those things you don't feel, but it's the padding that makes it a little bit less... Um, a little bit less susceptible to tears, breaks, um, when you, you know, maybe use your arm to brace against something, you're not getting as much of that impact. It's not a lifesaver, but it's just kind of one of those nice things to protect the jacket to last, okay? So, lastly, we have our waterproof cinch tight cuffs, okay? This is literally, I mean like dive suit rubber. You can feel it. I'll try to get a close up there for you. I mean, it, it flexes, you know, I don't think I'd want to push it too far because once it rips, I mean, it just rips, you know, it's hard to patch, but it does cinch down. That's the crazy thing is this cinches down a lot. Um, you, you can really keep a waterproof seal, you know, even to the point where I won't have gloves on, all right, because I'll be shooting. I'll cinch this down real tight right before I go and grab a duck or a bird out of the water or a bumper. Nothing above that cuff gets wet. Okay, your hand obviously will, but that's below the cuff. Nothing will. Now, granted, you have to cinch it down tight. That's like anything that's waterproof, okay? So, all right, before we move in, logo on the left wrist, logo on the right back shoulder. Inside, very straightforward, okay? Nothing fancy about this. It is that pro material, the entire length of the jacket. Okay, completely waterproof. I promise you guys, you could sit out four days, nothing's getting through this. It's worth the investment, okay? Because when the rain starts coming down or the snow starts piling in and you need a waterproof layer, there's nothing more comforting than morale boosting than going in there and finding a quality jacket that you know is gonna keep you in the fight, or excuse me, keep you in the hunt, okay? So lastly, little little thing here, on the left uh, inside breast, there is a pocket and it's got a nice little loop in here. So if you got to tie like your keys in there or something like that, you take a carabiner to it, you're locked in, it's not going anywhere. That's attached to the actual inside of the pocket to the jacket, okay? And this is just a very small diameter paracord, all right? And that's the only one on that side. Um, the, the right side does not have it, all right? Again, 10 mile tag right there. Sick of logo, you've got your nice little hanger hook. And guys, that's about it. Jacket is straightforward. It is an awesome elements jacket, okay? Again, for the Waterfowl series, it comes in timber and the actual marsh, all right? This thing's indestructible, guys. I love this thing. So, if you guys wanna pick it up, I'll have the link down in the bio and check it out. But guys, I think for this, I'm gonna give this easily a five out of five. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.